welcome back to Dark Solar Gaming and Farming Simulator 22 How To Series. Today we're going to look at the new construction mode. That's right, we're going to look at how we place buildings and all that sort of stuff in Farming Simulator 22. It is a little bit different to what we did with FS19, so uh, I think we can take some time and go and have a look at it. All right, so when we want to place silos, sheds, um, production facilities, um, animal pens, all that sort of stuff, while we still do effectively go through the store um, UI, it's not the same as it used to be. So let's go ahead and have a bit of a look-see and orientate ourselves around what we need to do. Let's bring up the store. When we come to the store, we have multiple items down the left-hand side of the menu we can choose from. So we can look at the brands, we can look at vehicles, tools, objects, the packs, all this sort of stuff we've gone through before, used vehicle sales, uh, the owned items leased items, the mods and DLCs, and then we come down here to the bottom to others. Now, in others, we have the animal dealer, the wardrobe, the farmland, and yes, I skipped over construction. And this is the area we're going to concentrate on today in this how-to video to go through what this does and what options we have available. If we click into the construction, and it straight away centers on my, uh, my avatar, my character down there, so we're not going to worry about him. We're going to move out here where we've got a bit of space. So, as you can see at the top, we've got five different tabs. We've got buildings, production, animals, decoration, and landscaping. Now, the landscaping, and to a little point, probably the decoration, uh, we covered in another video. In fact, I will do a separate video on decoration altogether. Um, but the landscaping, we certainly covered in another how-to video, and I'll put the link up above here somewhere, um, so you can actually go off and have a look at that one. Anyway, we're going to concentrate on the buildings today. And that's the main thing we want to sort of get covered off. Now, all right, let's have a bit of a look, see and see. So under the buildings tab, so each, under each tab there's a multiple of subordinate tabs, okay? So under the buildings tab, we have sheds, silos, silo extensions, containers, tools, and farmhouses. All right, so let's have a look and see what that's going to give us. So sheds obviously have a whole pile of sheds, right? Nice, excellent. Silos have some silos. Silo extensions, blah, blah, blah. So let's have a look and just see exactly what we've got and have a look at the options that we have available to us. So we've got plenty of money in the bank. So let's just go and have a look. So we're going to start off here with the, uh, what are these ones? Horman, I think, uh, shed. And this is quite a large shed, as you can see here. Um, and what we can do is by holding down the right mouse button, we can rotate. Okay, left and right with the mouse wheel, so I'm talking about PC controls here, so the controls will be slightly different for PC, uh, sorry, for um, consoles, but you'll have the same functionality. So uh, we have that ability to do that, and what we can do then is we can just place this down here. Camera right again. Right, there we go. And then simply once we've got in the position we want it to, we just left click, that's it it's down so there's our first shed all right we're going to put the next shed in. So that was three hundred twelve thousand five hundred dollars based upon the default installation but then it does vary a little bit depending on the land and what what landscaping has to do the next shed we have is the so the first one was a big garage this one's a big garage with vehicle vehicle workshop so we're going to rotate that one around we're going to have a look at these on the ground as well that's why i'm not going to do everything in one go today uh, then we're going to have a look at the big garage with vehicle workshop. So the second big garage with vehicle workshop. And we're going to rotate that one around. Now this one doesn't seem to want to have a free rotate. It's locked. Um, so uh, yeah, it's locked to the north, south, east, west. So then we're going to put him down there. There we go. Uh, then we're going to have the garage for contractors. Looking after our contractors. So there we go. Put that one down here like this. There we go. Now we're going to rotate around and we're going to come back the other way. So we're going to grab the bulk haul. And again, some of the some of the buildings will have a free rotation. Others will be locked for the uh, Cartesian, polar Cartesian coordinates. As you can see, this one's got a free rain, whereas the one previous was either north, south, east or west. There we go. That was 106,000 for a small garage. We then have a shelter with solar roof. 
No. And then have a big wooden garage. That way. We'll place this one down. And you see all the prices. So there's plenty of sheds available though by default in the game, which is good. It's, a, it's nice to make sure that in the base game we get some variation. Uh, so that was just an open wooden garage. We then have the Varico, whatever the hell that is. And if someone wants to put in the comments what it is, I'm assuming it's just the the type of garage, but it's uh, from Groppler Hallen or Groppler Holland or something like that. Anyway, I'll butcher the names. Our favourites, the Easy Sheds. I do love the Easy Sheds. I put Easy Shed there. <clears throat> and the larger Easy Shed. From there. Running out of space. Bit like that. Right, and then <clears throat> we have another easy shed, like that, and then we have a large garage. All right, we're going to put this one just down in here. I know it's tight for space, but that's it. There we go. All right, so that's all the units we have. So let's, um, now we've done that, let's have a quick look at them. And then what we'll do is we'll clear them all away, and um, we will then go into the next part of the construction tab. So here we go, here's our sheds. Up to this first shed up here. Open the door. There we go. It's a nice looking shed. I mean, look, the details in this one are, is actually really, really nice. If I use my camera action. Look at that, look at the detail in the, in the wood beams and that there. This is, this is fantastic attention to detail. I love it. Giants, you've done really, really well with these. Um, in fact, that's 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 amazing. I really do love that. That's really good attention to detail. Right, and next one, this is the one with the workshop. Right, so basically the same shit as the previous one. However, it's got the workshop in here. Okay. Now, obviously, to bring your vehicle in the workshop, you've got to bring it in through the main doors and then bring it into here. Okay. That's, it. again, another nice-looking model. Access doors open. Excellent. Right, next. And then here. What's this one here? This is uh, the next big garage. Open the door. That's just got two garage doors. Okay. Nice and simple. So, but again, the woodwork, the, the beams and that, they, they look fantastic. They really, really do. I, I really do like the look of these sheds. Okay. There's uh, the outside of this, that shed. We've got the portico there. Here's our contractor shed. There we go, open the doors. Again, there we go. Nice detail. Can't go in the doors here. Got the stairs. Well, can we go up the stairs? Get a little bit caught up there. All right, all right. Nope, can't open that door. Can't open that door. Anyway, they, again, nice shed. All right. Next, we're going to move along. And here's our standard little shed here. Another Horman. Nice see they've got their signage all over their sheds. Anyway, that's that's a standard one. Got this little garage in here. Yeah. There's their lovely wooden beams and, and, and all that. Look, just looks really, really nice. I like the look of what they've done there. Our stand lean to shed there. Uh, where's this one? I think I won't put this one backwards, did I? No, here it is here. Again, this is a wood panel, so the outside wood panels. Look at, look at the wood paneling. They've done a really good job. I, I must commend Giants on the work they've done with the sheds. Lighting. Very well done. Right, let me come up here. A little lean to. Fine. Uh, we got the door. Door here somewhere. Um, oh, there it is at the front. Yeah. Okay. All right. There we go. Another one. Excellent. So these should all. These all opening? No. Which ones of these open? Let's have a look. Hmm. They all look to me as if they were doors. That one looks like a door. Anyway, that's fine. Uh, and then from there, we have our easy sheds. 
Uh, we sure we used to the easy sheds, buddy. Oh, there's the, the big easy shed. I do like that big shed and the big lean too. Anyway, that is the sheds. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to get rid of all these sheds and then we'll come back and uh, and have a look at the silos. So we'll be right back. Now we've gotten rid of our sheds, it's time to have a look at our next tab in the buildings menu, which is the silos. So obviously the silos are going to be used for the storage of our crops and all that sort of stuff. And we've got a few selections here as well. So I'm just going to come up this side. Right, forget about that one there. All right, so first off we have our hayloft, 250,000 litres, $63,500. So we're going to plop him down. Oh, there he goes. And then we have a selection of Unia um, bins. So we have the Farmer 400 and OB 1000, Farmer 500, OB 1000, and the Farmer 800, OB 1000. Now these are 400,000, 500,000, and 800,000 in capacity. Now they are there. I'm just going to rotate this around there like that. And then we can see them. So we're going to put that one there. And here's a little bit taller. And then the third one has the, the four bins. Like that. Excellent. Then we have the Meridian bins. So the Meridian bins need to have um, an auger or conveyor to load them. Uh, so we have a 980,000 version, the flat bottom bin 3600. There's this guy here. We then have the flat bottom bin 3609, which is 1.1 million litre capacity. There he is there for 84,000. We then move on to the uh, Herero, I think it is, and I apologize for the butchering. The NL 1622 2000, which is a 2 million litre unit, and then it similarly has a 6,000, which is a 6 million litre unit, and then we have a 16,000, which is a 16 million litre unit. So put these down there are nice. Look at the size of these. These are nice. I like these ones. There we go. And then the triple. In fact, I'll put the triple the other way, like that. And then we have the 16 milliliter, million litre capacity unit, and he goes there. All right, so that is our silos, which is fine. We then have a manure heap. We'll put the manure heap in here. There we go. Uh, we then also have a liquid manure tank. Very good. And then we have some bunkers. Now again, these ones are rotating for the uh, compass coordinates. Now, the one thing that is good with these, like if you want to play, they lock into place. So if you want to place multiples like that, they'll just lock into place. So I can lock either side and they lock into place and they you make a bigger bunker side. I reckon that's a fantastic addition from Giants. Well done. And again, see if we can do it with that one. Uh, the medium, 12 metre by 18 metre. Okay. Uh, then we've got the large, which is 12 metre by 58 metre. Quite, that is quite large, isn't it? And then we have the 25 metre by 34 metre. I'm just going to put this one down in here. There we go. And again, all of them have the snapping function. You can't snap with the other units. You can put them nearby, but they won't snap. But with the same unit, they have a snapping function. And I reckon that is absolutely fantastic. I wonder if it snaps to the rear, though. No, it doesn't snap to the rear. So it's only the left, left and right-hand side. Okay? That's, and that's fine. Uh, this one here, this is um, basically the same as one of these ones, but it's actually from Stevie. So we're not going to cover that one. Um, that's a custom one. All right, let's uh, go down and have a quick look at uh, all these units and the buildings. So this is the barn storage here, that, so store our straw and our grass. So we uh, load from the storage here, and then on the extremities out here, this is where we unload. So the loading into the barn, unloading our trailers. Now the bigger silos here, the load and offload point is both the same area. So you got the spout there for, for loading the trailers, and the offload point is through the grill here. And then similarly for the other bigger units, the same sort of thing, but they're just nice looking models. They've, they've done well with their models. I'll, I will give them credit for that. Um, the buildings and, and the silos and all that do look quite impressive. Um, so uh, well done, Giants. I do like these ones. I do like these ones. And that one there. I think that looks quite impressive. All right. Um, our silage clamps, well, there's nothing really to write home about with those. Uh, however, it is good to see the... The, um, locking into place 
that's that's fantastic and i hope there's no problems with the spillage of the silage we haven't done much silage work yet but that'll be coming soon um and then we have our storage here so this is the um liquid manure pit and then we have the manure silo there a clamp and then we have the bigger silo clamps over here as well and there you go gives you the dot idea of the size of them so but anyway all right so that's that area now one of the things i did want to mention um, as well is to remove these items okay previously what you would do is you'd go into the um into the store and you'd go into what's owned um but you'll notice here there's nothing owned so this is one of the things to, to where things uh, have changed between fs19 and fs22 you don't go in here now where do i delete them from well quite simply you can't just delete them what you need to do is you'll come into construction mode and over here on the right hand side there's the demolish button so i click the demolish button and now i go in demolish mode and you'll see that all the items that i hover over go red okay and then what we do is just click on those and then it gives you the options do you want to sell the hayloft for thirty-one thousand seven hundred and fifty? Uh, yes there you go it's sold so that's the way we get rid of buildings no longer through the shop through the store uh, it is entirely through the construction menu you go all right there we have it all right here move up here and get these ones done so yeah so that's now gives you an idea of how to place and how to uh remove the items now we've got a couple of tabs left to go and we'll do those nice and quickly just to give you an idea of what there is available okay so we've done the silos the silo extensions the same sort of thing so we've just got the silo extensions um so 200,000 extension for the unia and then there's a 250,000 extension we then have a manure heap extension um so this needs to be placed next to the barn which is fine um silo extension needs to be placed next to a silo um for the liquid manure so it must be placed near your barns or liquid manure tanks um liquid manure extension tank large that's fine but a supplementary water tank water tank helps you to supply your greenhouse with water must be placed near the greenhouses all right so that's what we have available there okay nice and simple i'm not going to place them all down because it's just pointless uh containers so in the containers we have a small petrol tank Going a little bit lower because it's saying small there we go so there we go small petrol tank we then have a medium petrol tank we then have a large petrol tank there we go we also have a meridian large petrol tank doesn't look that much different um we have a liquid fertilizer tank that. we have a stainless steel fertilizer tank there we go we then have a Karma 16. The silo can be filled with different products. So I don't know if that's actually used for the fertilizer and all that sort of stuff, but it probably is. I don't think it's a normal silo. And then we have the water tank. Okay. So you have those options as well. This one here is a mod, so we're not going to worry about that one. Tools. So in the tools, we have the pestle, pestle instruments. Uh, weather station improves the weather forecast available to your farm. So you just simply come down. I sat down there. All right. Uh, we then have our workshop, standard vehicle workshop. Looks looks nice. They've done a lot of work with the um, with the textures and that on it, like the the corrugated iron roof that's rusted. Looks looks quite good. There's that. Uh, we then have a electric charging station for our electric vehicles. Okay. So there we go. And we then have a biomethane station for our methane operating vehicles. We then have a small weighing station. Now, I don't know why we want to use the weighing station. Just people may want for a bit more. Um, uh, what's the word I'm after? It's, I've lost it. But um, immersion. Immersion is the word I was after. Then we have a large weighing station. And that is it for the tools. All right. Nice and simple. But again, same thing. Want to demolish them? Use the demolish tool. And we go through and demolish. Remembering that we can't go through the garage itself. All right. And the last thing we need to worry about in the construction menu. Whoops. No, I don't want to do that. I want to demolish again. Thank you. 
is the farmhouses. And we've got a huge amount of farmhouses to choose from at the moment, being just one. Right, so if we go to farmhouses, oh, we've got two. Sorry, I lie. There you go, I lie. Shows how much I've been in here. So there we have the European, like a Swiss type, Alps type uh, version. Uh, and then we have a farm garage. Oh, well, this is this will be varying actually for the map. So you'll have different models actually probably for Elm Creek. And also you do have a different model for Hort Belleron. So, which is good as well. Um, but I would have liked to have had all the options available to us here by default. But anyway, that is the construction menu and how to actually place things and utilize things. Uh, I hope that's helped you a little bit. We will also do a how-to on the production and the animals. Uh, but that will come a little bit later. And also on the decorations, we'll, we'll do a, another how-to mod and showing you the use of those. Uh, and I apologize, it's getting a bit dark now. But um, anyway, that is it. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the how-to on the construction buildings for Farming Simulator 22. Thanks so much for watching. See you all later. Bye.